you right now are in a bit of a topsy-turvy situation because we know that in 2021 with the Mavericks, you've talked about how you wanted to sign an extension, right. but you felt like it was a gamble like that you did not want to take. You wanted to just have some assurance. Now you're in a situation where you can sign an extension. Of course, in many ways, it would not be financially advantageous to you, but it's the same circumstance, but completely different personal positions. Right. What player were you in Dallas where you felt as though you couldn't bet on yourself? And what player are you now? Hmm. Well, one, it's kind of hard. I'll say this. It's, it, when someone, there's an opportunity to help your family and help yourself. It's kind of hard to look at like, ah, no, I'm good. I'm going to wait. So that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. um, but the player I was in Dallas, you just, I never knew what the situation was for me because there was always someone that they brought in. Like, it was like, I remember they're bringing like DeLon Wright, uh, they're bringing Seth Curry, and, like all these guys. So I'm not know like what what's their plan like for me. So I'm I don't, I'm just like I don't say on edge, but like you gotta prepare for the worst. You got like you gotta just make sure you're good. Like you're good. You don't want to keep saying I'm a better myself. I'm good. Like it, it may not turn out well for you. Like that's just how life is. And so um, yeah, there are always like players they bring brought in like guards. And so. Um, and obviously not playing as much as I did that that playoff series with Rick and that team until the next year J Kid comes in. He's like, "Yo, like, what do you what do you want this season?" Like the, our first interaction, like he's like, "Yo, what do you want out of this season?" Yeah, I just want to help our team win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like saying all the mm -hmm. politically correct things that I should say as a player with a new coach who wants yeah. to play more. Of course. And he's like, "No, no, no. We we gotta get you paid." And I was like, "Shit." <laughs> Okay, that's real. Yeah, that's real. So he—that was the first thing he said to me. This is our first interaction, and wow. like, and he did. He helped me get paid. So, thank you, J Kid. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Shout out to yeah. you. <laughs> um, and um, so yeah, he, we had that conversation. And so we knew before the season that I had a, I was eligible to get like four years and fifty-five million. That was like the max I can get at the time for an extension. Mm -hmm. And so. Talking with like my dad and my agent, me and my dad and like my family, like yo, if it's there, we want to sign it. My agent's like, if we play well, you can do like as he should. Like if we play well, you do this, you can get so much more. I'm like, yeah, but like I want to be safe. Mm -hmm. And so before the season, we said, hey, like, if we can do this now, we want to do it. Otherwise, we don't want to talk about it during the season, right? And they were like, well, like we want to see where we are, 20, 25 games in. And that's when like they brought in JK, they brought in Nico. Um, they were kind of just kind of rearranging things. And so we were like, okay, well, we're probably not going to want to talk about it. So that was that. And so 20, 25 games go in. Like, Luca goes out with, like, an injury, and I, start, and I started for a period of time. And so right before I started playing a little bit more, like playing starters minutes, um, we said, hey, like, I've been doing well. Like, what, what do we think we're at? Like, I kind of, like, yeah. jumped off what I said I would do to possibly sign an extension. And they're like, ah, oh, like, it was still like a gray area. Like, we don't know. We want to see. It was it was never like a de definitive like no. It was never a definitive like yes. Mm -hmm. So it was like a gray area. And then I started playing well. Luke comes back. I'm still in the starting lineup. I'm playing well, playing along, playing well alongside of him. And so one thing I understood like Luca is going to play a certain way um, because he has that skill is just it's unheard of. Yeah. And so I knew things like that like weren't going to change. So how can I be effective in the role that's that I'm given? So that's, that's all I was thinking about. Like, how can I be effective? I wasn't thinking like, hey, like, I think I should get the ball more. I think I should do that. I can do so much more. Like, no, like, be effective in what's being asked of you. That was my mindset. And I think I was doing a pretty decent job at it. And so up to the trade deadline, I didn't hear anything about extension. And so the trade deadline, I'm thinking, like, I might possibly get traded. Like, cause yeah. You didn't have any assurance. Yeah. yeah. And so obviously don't get traded. Um, after the fact, they, they say, hey, like, would you want to sign an extension? And we were like, no. I feel like I've outplayed that to this point, and I feel like I'm in a position where I'm good, barring injuries and stuff. Like, I feel like I'm good. Um, obviously, you play well in the playoffs. I, uh, when Luca was out, I played well. And we got to the Western Conference Finals. And, um, yeah, so 
being that player back then, um, you just there's so much unknown. Mm-hmm. Like there's there's like about two players per team. There's like thirty players in the league that are like, hey, like I'm, I can exhale. I'm yeah. comfortable, like financially. Mm-hmm. And so, um, I think now, obviously, being to where I am, I just, I, I don't want to say I can exhale, but like, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. So it's a little different person um, financially. And so uh, it's just, it's a totally different situation. But I, you also, you know, shouldn't sell yourself short in terms of just the many differences right, right. in this moment and what you've been able to show. Right. Because, you know, I think when some people watch you now, there's this thought of how did this fall through the cracks in Dallas, right? How did they not figure it out how mm-hmm. to make it work with Jalen? And when you really sit back and think and reflect, for you, is it that Dallas didn't know what they had, or is it that maybe you weren't that player yet? Both. Okay. I definitely was not the player I am today in Dallas. For, I mean, yeah. seriously. Um, I feel like at the end of the end of my time in Dallas, like in the playoffs, I was starting to get there. Mm-hmm. But um, like you said, there's there's conf- there was never like assurance from them. There was never assurance like for me. Like you just it's, you don't know. You're playing a game. You don't know. I feel like I've definitely established myself more now in the past two years than I did my first four years. For sure. Um, but it's, it's not a knock on anybody. Like mm-hmm. I, you have to make decisions. You have to make decisions in a timely manner. It, it is. It's just how it goes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you you strike gold. Sometimes you're you're digging for nothing. Like it, it's. You can't you can't hold them accountable. You can't say, "Hey, like you guys messed up." Like you guys, you can say it now in like hindsight, mm-hmm. but, but no one knew then. Like no one knew, and then mm-hmm. it's it's not on them. Like I have the utmost respect for that organization. Like I talked to, I talked to Mark. I talked to all of them. Like I just thank you for everything. Like mm-hmm. I'm not like there's no grudges. Like yeah. we all move on. It is what it is. They're in a position right now where they're in the finals. Yeah. Like so clearly they didn't need me. So I'm not. Why should I like hold any like, animosity towards them? And mm-hmm. I, I I hope they don't feel the same way towards me. It's just, um, and then plus I still have friends on that roster. So it's, there's 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 nothing. There's no bad blood. No nothing. Like, um, things get thrown around where like narratives are said that like, hey, Jalen did like this. Do like that. Mark said no to this. Like, well, we hash everything out. Like, we're good and we move on. Yeah. 